Do you think that guns have any place in or around schools? Uh, I think that's best left to locales and states to decide. You can't say definitively today that guns shouldn't be in schools? Well, I, I will refer back to uh, Senator Enzi and the school that he was talking about in Wapiti, Wyoming. I think probably there, I, I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. Ellie Krauss teaches third grade at West Rhodes Elementary. Well, it's been about a year since we've had to start having these drills, and results have been mixed. All right, kids, you know the drill. All right, let's go, move, check those barrels, count those rounds. Miss Krauss? Yes, Kyle? I don't have mine today. I left it at the shop. Oh, that's okay. You get to use the loaner. Some of the students can't afford their own, so the school has a few on hand donated to us by our nonprofit program partner, the NRA. The kids don't regard them as cool. Uh, Congressman, Congressman, do you have a minute to talk about this new gun policy? Sure. To my constituents, I want you to know that I know that you love your guns. I love your guns. I love guns. I mean, I, I'm not lying to you. I've got a bunch of my own. I've got my, uh, my M80, my 38 Special, my 1099, my W4. You're just listing tax forms now. What was the question? You said you think this policy is unconstitutional. Why? Well, yes, it's simple. You, you have the richer kids bringing in their parents' guns, specialty rifles and whatnot. But what about the entitlement program kids? What are they getting? They're giving them muskets and guns made in Croatia in the 70s. That's not right. Under the Constitution, we are guaranteed equal protection. And that is not protecting ourselves equally. So your problem isn't with the guns? <laughs> no, no. All I'm saying is, is that I want all the kids to have equal guns. And until then, I say no guns. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That bear is halfway up the hall by now and he's coming for your picnic basket. Looking at you, Benny. Time? Two minutes and 34 seconds. Two and a half minutes, kids. Come on! You're dead, 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 being eaten, halfway to dead. You've got honey on your face, boy. Let's go! Positions, hold that tree line, hold that tree line. Did you finish your homework last night? I got to question 12, but I don't really like long division. Toby, Vicky, this is no time for math. Yes, yes Miss Krause. All right, at the ready. Watch that tree line. Penny, is that a knife? Come on, friend. Put it down. No one wants to get hurt here today. Take it easy. Easy. That's it. Come here. OK, come on, come on. Hey, tree line, tree line. You were in some serious trouble here, young lady. Did you bring any other sharp objects to school? Let's have them. We have a zero tolerance policy against all non-projectile weapons, and we take it very seriously. You hate to see a kid screw up her future like that, and at such an early age. We simply must comply with all gun and bear awareness policies. We burned all the Winnie the Pooh books. We banned all honey products so as not to attract more bears. And we even changed the school mascot after last month's unfortunate incident. You want to make sure you keep those barrels nice and smooth. That way you can... Damn it, Kyle! Right, safety's on. Kids, how many times do I have to tell you? Kyle got a bear! No! No. Try moving it. Ugh. You've got to be careful of the recoil from the bigger guns. This is our sixth drill of the year, and uh, we've only had 23 recoil injuries. The national average is 40 by this point. As for gunshot wounds, we're not required to keep track of those. But if I had to ballpark it, I'd say about, hmm, maybe seven or eight a month. No fatalities, thankfully. At least not student fatalities. Janitor fatalities, on the other hand, uh, we've lost some good men. So what are you doing? 
I'm on ammo duty. Oh, damn it, Kyle. He's not used to that kind of gun, Mr. Miller. Every day we start with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by Thoughts and Prayers time, which is just time we set aside to do some extra work. Except we don't. We just kind of reflect on recent events. We run the drills a few times a month. Is it a perfect system? No, but it does have some advantages for everyone. Quiet. 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 OK, you sons of bitches, heads on your desks. Touche, kids. Touche. We can't go giving every child a submachine gun just because Susie has an Uzi. That's nanny state politics. So you think Representative Hagel is wrong to say that entitlement kids are at a disadvantage? You want to know what I think of Tom Hagel? I think you should check his campaign contributions. So we did, and what we found might shock you. Uh, uh, Congressman, last March you received a donation of $80,000 from the Grizzlies for America PAC, did you not? Uh, I don't pay attention to the minutia of the donations. Uh, are you in bed with Big Grizzly? That's absurd. What do you have to say to the allegations that you've been giving stump speeches in Bighorn National Forest? I haven't. He's giving a literal stump speech. <laughs> These are clearly photoshopped. Are they? Yes. I'm not really sure who pays for what, and I don't really care. What's important is the education and safety of our children. That's why we run these drills. Bears are real. An attack could happen at any moment. We need to be prepared. Damn it, Kyle! Safety on! Yep. Safety. If one of these things gets inside this school, it's not going to be a little Goldilocks situation, okay? It's not going to be, uh, the porridge is just right. Guess what? You're the porridge, and you're dessert. So, you listen up, you pay attention, because when one of these gets in here, and trust me, they have. It's not just rumors. This guy thinks it's a rumor. <laughs> Guess what? First one to go. That's right, yeah, I said it. This isn't, this isn't games, okay? This isn't gym class, this isn't fun, we're not keeping score. This is life, and this is death. And these are bears, and they are evil. And they are coming for you specifically. Called this morning, said, we saw her little camo gun. Guess what? You're first. 